though, every single time he steps into that ring, and that right there, you see, is what it's all about. ECPW, Light Heavyweight Championship. Light Heavyweight Championship match. Oh, look at Sonny oh, King. All right, I, I don't want to see it. I, I <laughs> told you, not only I, he's flamboyant, I wonder if the camera's got that angle. All right. Well, Dan the Man, though, the consummate professional, seems unfazed. I'll tell you what. He's got he's got to remain that way. He can't let the uh, he can't let Sonny Kiss get in his head. That's a recipe oh, for disaster. Oh my God! What? I, that wasn't acrobatic. Well, I think that was a little dancing. Look at him! He blew a kiss. He blew a kiss at Dan the Man. Huh? Well, I still don't quite know what to make of this Sonny Kiss. But hey. He's got to be doing something right if he's getting a shot at the ECPW light heavyweight title against oh. Dan the Man. The matchmakers like him, don't they? I suppose so. Oh my God, what a kick! Oh, he's going like early. Went for a quick pin. Oh. Sonny Kiss going to work on Dan the Man. Wow. What? Oh! oh. I told you he was athletic and charismatic. A bulldog. Danny Man may be in trouble here. Tell you what, very innovative offense from Sonny Kiss. Almost got him that title. Hey, this is Mr. Italy, Gino Caruso from East Coast Professional Wrestling. Did you always dream of being a professional wrestler, being in that ring? This is East Coast Professional Wrestling Training Center. Do you have what it takes to be a wrestler, manager, valet, referee? Here at East Coast Professional Wrestling, be a part of the team. Every aspect of the wrestling business. You could be in that ring. Give us a call. Live your dream. much muscle behind those punches and forearms of Sonny Kiss, though. I mean, it, Ray Ray, you're a competitor. In order to compete here in ECBW on fire, I think he, he needs to put on a little more weight and muscle. Would you agree? I mean, hey, to each, like I said, each his own. That includes style of wrestling. What he might lack in muscle, oh, wow, I was going to say, before he took that spill, what he might lack in muscle, he makes up for with, with his energy and, I guess, the force behind his strikes or whatnot. Oh, yeah. But he's unbelievably quick in the ring. But this is not the Look spot at he Dan wants the man right no, now. No. This is not the spot he wants to be. Dan the oh, man. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, wow. Oh, come oh, on, Dan. Ruthless. Move the lady. Move. Oh. Dan the man. He's just having his way with Sonny Kiss. Unbelievable. I've never seen Dan the man this vicious. I think that Sonny Kiss uh, really got under Dan the man's skin. There's a very good possibility of that. Uh oh. Oh! That's just a straight kidney punch. Sometimes that's. A, uh -oh. Sometimes it's the simplest offense that could be the most effective. Oh, and the man now. Letting the fans start, start getting his head a little bit. Again, that's not something you want to have happen when you're in the ring with the Dan, Dan, the Now, Dan the man, kicks. he lays those forearms in. Uh oh. Punches. Sunny kiss. Oh, and around. Wow. What? Oh! Man, the man wasn't paying attention. He got kicked in his head. That right, kiss going up to the top rope. He's a uh, high risk maneuver coming up here, we're sure. And the man. Oh! oh goodness! Wow. I think he kicked him right in the face. Oh, he almost had him. Wow! I thought he had him. I thought we had a new light heavyweight champion. That is. That is unbelievable that Sonny. Dan the Man found the wherewithal to kick out of that move. Sonny Kiss is showing me something tonight. 
Wow. And tell you what, as unorthodox he may be, this is, this is a guy I would have to be very wary of if I would ever step in the ring with sunny, this sunny kiss. Wait a minute. What, what, what is he doing? What is he doing? Uh-oh. Oh, and he slugs him right in the gut. Now those vicious forearms right to the side of the head. Well, this is a time limit match. Yes, it is. So, you know, and that's why maybe uh, Sonny Kiss has been working hard. To get he wants to pin down the man. And the man. Oh, Sonny Kiss trying to fight back. Dan the man just staying on him. Trying to fight back from the onslaught here. Yeah. Oh, Dan the man taunting him. Oh! Well, those spinning kicks from Sonny Kiss. Up! Oh, look out! Oh no! Oh, what's he gonna oh, do? No. I, I think he's gonna plan. Oh my God! Wow! Woo. Kiss good night, perhaps yeah. for Sonny Kiss. And, and, and Ray Ray, you, you're you're a competitor. You're a great wrestler. You know what it's like when that you get slammed into the mat like that. At the, Absolutely. You're, I, and I appreciate you calling me calling Ray Ramar's great wrestler. You know Ray Ramar is in the wrestling on fire heavyweight title tournament coming up soon, right? I know you that. Be looking, you said next to a future champion. I'm looking forward to seeing you in that. Thank you. Can Sonny Kiss become a future champion right we'll now? We'll see tonight. What? Right now, is that, oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness, it takes him right over. Dan may have him. No, we don't. Oh, my goodness. I don't think anybody can believe that Sonny Kiss found the, found the bearings to kick out of that move. Dan the man has got Sonny Kiss right where he wants him, folks. Big leg drop. Snap style. Excuse you me. And again. Dan the man now. These fans just watching in appreciation, I guess. I know, I know, I know. Oh, 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 Sonny Kiss trying to fight out though. Oh. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Spins him around. Oh, wait. Oh, what was that? I don't even know. Two, he could might. Oh. Nice move by oh, Sonny Kiss. He, he almost had a new ECPW light heavyweight champion. I thought it was, I thought it's getting close. Oh no. No, he's going for it. He's setting a sharpshooter of sorts. Can he get it? Can he get it? He's got it. He's got him. He's got him. Is Dan the man gonna quit? How much? How much time is left? And he gotta make him tap out. Oh! Time. He says no! He says no! He says no! Time limit! Did he give up? What happened? I think time What happened, Dizzy? Time limit! Oh, you got to be kidding me! We were wondering how much time was left. We figured that Sonny Kiss' time was running out. And that's exactly what happened. How lucky time, is Dan the man? Time just ran out for Sonny Kiss. How lucky is Dan the man? Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. So you what, I don't know what it is with everybody stealing everybody else's championship belts. Sonny Kiss did not earn that title tonight, but I'll tell you what, he made an impression on me. Very, very unique individual. Well, I'll tell you what, Sonny Kiss deserves another shot at the end of the man, wouldn't you say? He might, he might. He's disappointed, he's dejected, but you know what? Sonny Kiss has showed the ECBW on fire, board of directors and bookers a lot tonight. And uh, he may, these people might feel strongly against Dan the man, but. Now he knows he's got Fury on the ropes, at least in the early goings of this contest. He's gonna try to take full advantage, holy hell. What a chop from the challenger, going after, throwing everything he's got at Fury. Once he's got his hands on Fury, 
Looks like he's not going to let up at all. Oh, definitely not. As well, he shouldn't. Oh, my God, again. That's just not nice. Fury now trying to get back into the ring to get away from Apollo. Oh, there we go. And there's that, that veteran instinct of Brian Fury kicking in now. He's been around the block a couple times as well. No slouch, as we've mentioned time and time again here. Definitely. The savvy champion putting the boots to the challenger right now. Back and forth control going in this matchup. Fury's got a hold of Apollo, whipped into the turnbuckle, up and over. Oh my God, just throwing him all the way across the ring, trying to steal one early. Nope. And the champ happen. is able to kick out at two. Our first pinning combination of the matchup. Very close right now. Fury's got to think his championship reign is in jeopardy this evening. Oh and another God. vicious chop from the challenger. Taking down, nice little neck breaker combination by Apollo. Trying to end it again real early. Another pin, only a two count, getting closer and closer. Two quick pinning combinations. Wearing Brian Fury down little by little. Vicious stomp right to the chest there. That don't feel good. Punch him right in the eye. Sometimes it doesn't take technical moves, just a good punch to the face. And there are a lot of people that can argue that as a punch in the eye or a chop or several to the chest that Brian Fury has had coming based on his actions over the past couple of months. Apollo almost taking him right out of the ring right there. You got to think that every shot Apollo delivers, every scream of pain that Brian Fury lets out, the Savoldi family somewhere is enjoying each and every moment of this. Well, maybe not young Mary. I don't think he's woken up yet. And I don't think he's waking up for another couple of days. Yes, again, no word on Mario Jr.'s health condition at this moment. We wish him the best. Vicious chair shot earlier in the evening as El Leon Apollo not only trying to bring home the Wrestling on Fire Heavyweight Championship, but also defending the honor of the Savoldi family. Oh, wait a minute there. That looked like a bit of a low blow. Ref obviously did not pick up on that. Apollo in a lot of pain. Fury trying to regroup. Now, Brian Fury is a master of getting those, getting those cheap shots by the referee. So that you can't see, you can't see what you don't call. Or, excuse me, you can't call what you don't see. I should easy for me to say, I assume. Art of deception, definitely part of the arsenal of the champion. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled is convincing the world he did not mm. exist. Wait a minute. Another one right there. That one was a little bit more blatant, it seemed like. Unless he's trying, unless the referee is, a referee's discretion. Maybe the ref felt it was more of a lower abdomen shot than anything else, but looked a little flimsy. Looked low to me. Fury now taking the boots. Referee giving the five count. Guy like Fury, you know he's gonna take each and every millisecond of that five count. I'll tell you what, he's giving up a lot of size and a lot of strength to Apollo. If you're going to have to rely on his veteran instinct, his savvy, and maybe if, maybe a couple of tricks of the trade, sneaking the, sneaking those cheap shots in behind the ref's back when he can. Hey, anything you can do, like I said, to get an advantage over a guy like Apollo, you got to take it. And Fury has been around the block enough to know how to not get caught. And even if he does, he can't lose the title on disqualification. But I'm sure he wants to just beat Apollo straight up and prove why he's a champion. Fury like a surgeon, slowly taking apart El Leon Apollo, mm -hmm. chopping the big guy down. Apollo back up on his feet, clubbing blow right to the upper back area. Apollo definitely in a lot of trouble, another clubbing blow. Nice standing drop kick by the champ right there. And the champ is feeling, he's feeling good. You gotta wonder why he's not going after a pinning combination right away. Hooks the leg now. Tell you what, that's a that's a mistake you don't see Brian Fury make too often. Interesting watching that though. Apollo not able to kick out of the pinning combination. Had to get the leg up on the ropes. Challenger in a lot of trouble here. And you gotta wonder if the pressure finally got to him, but there he's able to battle back with a couple of vicious chops. But Fury right back to the advantage. Vicious boots to the back. Doesn't matter.
matter how big and strong you are, if Fury doesn't pick you up off the ground, he can't do much. And when he does pick you up, he's going to knock you right back down. Big back elbow does the trick right there on that occasion. Right for the pin, hooks the leg. Eliana Paul is able to kick out there at two. Interestingly enough, right now, Brian Fury is looking like he's getting a little bit frustrated. The steely-eyed champion, normally in control, normally very subdued, starting to get a little bit frustrated, trying to figure out exactly how he can put the big man away. Now it's squeezing the air out of Apollo. This may be the way to do it. Like you said, it's not like Fury to get this frustrated in the, mi the middle of the matchup here. And the strategies aren't working. Maybe, maybe Apollo has managed to get inside his head just that little bit enough to give him an edge. Maybe. You never know. I mean, Fury, you know, I'd, like to, I'd like to believe if Fury is, you know, does not let Apollo get in his head, but his actions in the ring... His mannerisms are saying otherwise. You know, Apollo might be out. This matchup might be over. Yeah, as I say, all that could be a move point anyway. I think he's got that hook just right. He might have this here. Uh-oh. Apollo's got a little bit left, trying to shake some feeling back into his body. Fury desperately trying to keep that hold on. Fury's... Fury's holding on, Apollo's up to the seated position, which definitely helps to alleviate some of that pressure. Absolutely, it's first step, baby steps. And here we go. Apollo getting back to his feet now. Fury smartly breaks the hold and continues to go to work on Apollo. Uh-oh, not for long though. Block of two vicious rights, another right. Apollo feeling it, whips the champ into the ropes. Whoa! Big Holy back body cow. drop. Fury in a lot of trouble. Vicious clothesline. Apollo's feeling it now, getting his second wind. He's got Fury right where he wants him right now. This is a What a clothesline! To avoid. That could be it. Oh. Somehow, and that may have been just instincts. What a vicious clothesline from the challenger, Apollo. Vicious impact, unbelievable, and somehow Fury is able to kick out. I think Apollo smelling blood in the water. He wants that championship. He may be close. Another vicious chop. Oh, back and forth between these two right here. Oof. Oh, Fury rebounded off of Apollo's kick with a kick of his own right to the head. This could be it right here. He might have gotten him. Ooh. So close. Championship gold on the line. Championships matter here at Wrestling on Fire. Unbelievable back and forth action between these two individuals. This match has been really difficult to call. Just when you think one guy's got the advantage, someone else is able to reverse it. These guys going back and forth all night. Uh-oh. Fury caught going for oh the super kick. God. Apollo able to land one of his own. Hooks the leg. Oh, just able to get that shoulder wow. up. Two and a half right there. We almost had a new champion. Oof. Tell you what, Brian Fury is not, as we've said before, he's not going to part with that belt easily. You're going to have to, you're going to have to do a lot to Fury. Oh, look out. Referee in the wrong place. Oh, really in the wrong place now. Oh. What a boot to the face. The ref is out outside the oh, ring. Oh, no. We should, have, we should have a new champion. Somebody, can we get someone from the back? We need a referee out here. Someone. We should have a new WOF champion. Ref is out, down and out, outside the ring right now. Uh oh. Fury, Fury is still in trouble. Fury's stirring a little bit, though. Referee hasn't moved yet. Uh-oh. Fury's got the championship belt. Oh! This could spell disaster. We should have had no it. no ref. Doesn't matter. Still no ref. Oh. Ref is Goodness. still unconscious. Unbelievable. Fury trying to cheat to retain his gold using that championship belt. The referee is still out. He's out cold. We're right back to where we started. Each of these guys should have had the victory at least once in this contest. No referee, though. 
Oh, wait a minute. Wait a second. Wait, what? It's Mario Jr. Mario Jr. just slid a chair into the ring. Oh, no way. Turnabout is fair play to Savoldi family getting involved in this championship matchup. Oh. Vicious chair shot from Apollo. Mario Jr. is putting the ref in the ring. No way. And that's the three Don't count. We have a brand new champion. Wow. I'll tell you what, I didn't think we were going to see Mario Jr. for a pretty long time after that chair shot he took to the head from Brian Fury. And here he is. And he basically just gift wrapped that championship for Apollo. But still, what heck of a contest right here. Apollo, your new WOF champion, ending the reign of terror. You know, Savoldi family, legendary in the business of pro wrestling been around for decades and decades there's only so many times you're going to be able to just disrespect this family and get away with it finally comes back to bite brian fury we have a brand new wrestling on fire heavyweight champion Absolutely. Anderson, me and you have history. See, last time you got one over on me with a chain wrapped around my neck, but I say good for you. You see, my name is The Punisher, and I didn't get that from helping babies and kissing all these animals and being a nice guy. I got it from cracking skulls and breaking bones. Next time I see you on the 20th, you go down, you fall like the rest, you fall to The Punisher. started off with I broke Ken Reedy's leg. Well now the truth is out. I didn't break Ken Reedy's leg. Ken Reedy was on my side the whole time. And Gino Caruso, Mr. Ridley, I am on fire. Literally, on fire. I am part of ECPW on fire. I am on fire. And on fire means that December 20th, the Punisher, I'm putting your fire out once and for all because you can't beat me. You couldn't beat me months ago when I was the East Coast Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. You won't beat me now that I'm not the champion. You know why? Because I'm more hungry. I'm I'm angry. I'm, I'm open to any kind of challenge. And you know what? You don't have what it takes. try though. This is going to be a doozy. D-O-O-Z-Y. Doozy. But, uh, uh, Creeper, uh, you had your hand on the rat. I, I really don't want to check. I'll give you a I'll say it again. It's about oh. deep on the rat. There we go. Oh, look at Andrew Anderson. A reinforcer. Meeting the Punisher at the pass. Look at, oh, DeVito smacks oh, the oh, Creeper out. in the head. Hey. Andrew Anderson now. He takes that and hand off the face. Referee telling him to take it into the ring, but... Uh, oh, look out, look out. They're oh, coming no, over here, they're coming over here. Look out. There's expensive equipment oh, here. Thank goodness, my cell phone was right there. Oh, look out. Oh, expensive look equipment. Oh, my. Oh, my. What's going on? I'm holding on to the bell. We this don't need any casualties take here. control of this match. <laughs> the Punisher is just... He is just having his way in the early part of this contest with Andrew Anderson. Anderson got a little ahead of himself. Try to ram Punisher's head into this very okay announcement. Here. We're going with... Oh, look at this. Doug DeVito's got the leg of the Punisher right I, here. I would like to see the Punisher kick him right in the head. The Creamer's getting involved. The 
Punisher, oh! And a very, very... Now the Creeper and DeVito right for the manager to hear here for the awards. And um, there is a... Uh, we are officially underway. Andrew Anderson. The choke on the ropes right there. The Punisher is... So the Punisher hasn't been able to get out of the blocks yet ever since he tried to ram Anderson's head into our announce table. It backfired. Anderson's had control ever since. I'll tell you... I don't even know. This, this is crazy. I don't even know what's going on. What a move by Andrew he Anderson. A power move. I, I definitely did not sound good. It sound, did not sound good right there. We got mistaken. It was Punisher who had Anderson where he wanted him by our announce table earlier. And yet, Don Vito got involved, and now Anderson, since then, has had the upper hand. There are very few wrestlers who can manhandle the Punisher, but Andrew Anderson is one of them. Absolutely. And I guess you could say the same thing, you know, the other way around. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Punisher went for the whip, and Anderson was able to catch himself, reverse it. A big elbow right now. Punisher is down and he looks like he's hurt. Big Come elbow on. from a big man. Absolutely. Punisher is down and there's huge arms of Andrew Anderson trying to choke the life, squeeze the life, trying to close that windpipe. Not doing a great job right now. And a right hand to the face and multiple by Punisher. Anderson, oh my goodness. Anderson now, one, two, and I'll tell you what. As What's if, that, As Ray if Ray? this man didn't need any extra motivation, I understand no, he didn't. he's got a very strong opinion uh, about the things that have been going on here at ECBW on fire. And I'm sure that just, although that opinion, that mindset, he's in a different place. And I think it makes him more dangerous than he's been even in the past. And that's just an outsider looking at Andrew yeah. Anderson, you know, you know, he's a man possessed. He wants that championship gold around his waist again. He, he hates he, Joe Guns. He does, he does. And um, he's taking that on the Punisher right now, but. Well, good way to work back into contention to be we got a win here, but. Yeah, he gets a win here, he moves right up that ladder. He might. Oh, look out. Big flying elbow. And that's a big boy coming at you with that elbow. Punisher getting some serious height as he takes down the reinforcer, Andrew Anderson. The Creeper shoving a rat in his face. That can't be, that can't be fair. And a big spear. Anderson is What's down. What's DeVito doing in the ring? DeVito jumping in. And that's it. Oh, whoa, what's going the on The Creeper here? is in the ring. DeVito, oh, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> Creeper with that shot right to the, to the collarbone. Creeper and Punisher standing tall.